your boy Stevie Dub, no be just heat. Look. I knew from the moment I touched the pen and the pad I'd get up on the mic and give it everything that I have I'm so glad that I had to grow up being mad I channeled all of them emotions up and didn't get sad I surpassed everyone in my crew It was true, never said it myself But still everyone knew I stayed dormant for a moment Then I torment performances And kids would follow me like I was the head of an orphanage I was fortunate enough to never have the mentality of normality Cause in reality I would rather be different Shifted momentum, changed up the emblem on my shit Fresh as a get Fitted with a seven on my shit I said a lot of shit that came true I'll paint you a picture My verses are rope like I gave you a scripture I'm confident more with the flow I gotta know when to go Overly over control with the flow Never know when it's going to get tough Gotta stack that dough uh, Stevie Dub, no beat, just heat I'm Maestro. Welcome back to the only hip hop show with the only hip hop squad. Squad. And shout out to my boy LeBron Pierce. That's my manager. You know what I'm saying? He brought in some beer, babe. Some beer, babe's in the building. You know what I'm saying? We got everybody in the building. What's up, squad? What we got up here? Squad. Also, shout out to Mark, aka Bricks and Lace, aka Sean, aka. My nigga, my lady, bro. <laughs> you feel me? Shout out to my nigga Relly. You feel me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Big shout out to Relly. Where you at? Oh, there you go. Relly Coach, is smooth. Be me and Radio Racer in a two on two. You feel me? It will be the last and final time that that happens on the basketball court. You feel me? What? Uh, what? Are you on the basketball court? What is this? Oh, it's yeah, blasphemous. Oh have you ever heard of LeBron James? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I have. I have. <clears throat> <clears throat> Welcome, bro. <laughs> Welcome I, I, for I what? <laughs> oh, he's not the MVP, though. <laughs> light skin, light skin had a good year. You have the Meek Mills, Drake, you have the Steph Curry. I mean, it's, it's, it's difficult. What, what is he? Two and five. Right light skin won this year. They could have two thousand. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Was he in the finals though? Who, LeBron? Yeah, who, Le Le LeBron? What, I mean, I don't two want to talk five? about the finals. I mean, well, one was was definitely gift wrapped by it's by Ray Allen. Season. Ray Allen gave him that other one. He'd be one and five without Ray Allen. You're right. Like that always sends a ram in the bush. Hello. Oh, 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 Kobe's what? He's he's five and six. Kobe's fifty six, man. Kobe is fifty six. Yeah. You feel me? Let's not start with Big these Lakers jokes. Oh Lakers. shit. No, that's true. The Bronze better than Kobe. Hey, with right that, you feel me? Um, on that note, uh, I'm a uh, we got Stevie Dub in the house, y'all. <laughs> What up, what up, what up? Yeah. You can't talk to these Laker fans any interview. kind of way, man. What? I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Can you got you Stevie Dub in the house, everybody. <laughs> a big shout out. Let me get whoa, them whoa, 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 whoa. Let, 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 me, let, me, let me do a proper interview. With you oh, my bad. The Raw Pierce had told me last week about this guy. Okay. And um, I was actually... Um, I don't know what the fuck was that. Anyways, <laughs> he introduced me to this guy, Stevie Dub, of course. So... LeBron was like, yo, maestro, tune into that song. I don't know this. I was like, I don't know this? What, what the hell does that mean? That is, it has a message behind it. It's dope. And I was like, let me check it out. And I listened to it and I was like, is, is he going to be on the show? And I was like, and LeBron was like, hell yeah, he's going to be on the show. We already just booked him. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, let's go. Let's go. So, and now I'm here hosting. And I'm a. Do I probably introduce <laughs> on behalf of LeBron Pierce, the executioner, ladies and gentlemen, we got Stevie Dub in the Steve motherfucking Dub. building. What up, what up, what up? Oh, bless, Ooh. bless. You gotta get longer claps, LeBron. I mean, fuck. LP. <laughs> I mean, Maestro. 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 You got too many names, God. Too can many names. Can we get some more claps? I'm only, I'm only with one seven, name. Five. Maestro, can we get some more claps? Stevie Dub, what up? What What's up? Good, what up? Baby? What's good, man? Appreciate no y'all for having me. What was that? Said? What was that? All no beat, no beat, heat. Just well, heat. Well, yeah. No yeah. beat, man, just time. heat. Uh, no beat, just heat. Uh -huh. where, where was you at, man? You hey, like guess what though, y'all? He just dropped episode seven today. Like, oh, you do a series? Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. I I started a little series. Um, a little background on that. I started a little series called No Beat, Just Heat because I was working on my album, which I dropped on September the twelfth, Growth and Development, and um. Going back to what Renee was saying about getting into your space as an artist, I was in a I was in a hip hop zone. I'm a lyricist at heart. I wanted to get back into the lyrics. My way of, you know, kind of the prequel to my album was starting a little series of me on YouTube, you know, just barring out in a bunch of different locations around LA or wherever I was at the time. Just grab the camera, 
spit some bars, drop it out. So, you know, we've done that. And it also, we, this last one, we incorporated two artists, uh, Lil Will. He's an artist on the drum squad. And then my boy Tyron Brown. You know, it's just a way to bring, you know, bring people together and to show people that motherfuckers are still out here rapping. You know what I'm saying? And when you walked up, you had a camera behind you. So make sure I get my cameo, all right? Oh, most definitely. You, you know, I need that. have like my IG <laughs> pop up at the <laughs> <laughs> He's already <laughs> ready. He's got the plugs and shit ready. I feel you. I feel you. Let, we got let, you. Let's talk, man. Real yeah, quick. Let's talk growth and development. Real quick. Man. Growth and development. Growth and development, man. It's a, it's a, uh, to me, it's a movement, man. Like it's a, it's a way of life. Everything that we do in life is, has, has to do with growth and development. And, and me as an artist, um, I've gone through a lot of shit, man, in the last couple of years. And you know, people in my ear telling me to make this type of music to pertain to this type of crowd and to go here, do this, you know, network with these people. And like, you know, like I said, going back to what Renee Brown was saying, I wanted to do what the fuck I wanted to do for me. I love alone, let me get it. Exactly. I love making I love hip hop music. I grew up listening to like Eminem, Nas, Talib Kweli, lyrics. I love lyrics, lyricists, and that's who I am. I'm a lyricist. So I had to get back in that in that mode where I was, you know, making some music that has substance behind it, and that's, you know, where growth and development came. I just basically locked myself away in the studio for I think it was like 5 months and made the made the type of music that I want to make. Do me a favor. Yes, sir. Me being, well, us really being, you know, fans of, of lyrics. You right. Know, define substance. What is, what is substance to you? Substance is when you um, are actually talking about something, whether it's your life, your struggles, whether, you you know, your come up, you're talking about the struggle that it, you know, that it takes to get on or, you know, not even, not even just the struggle, but, you know, um, the celebration of right. getting there. Not, not just popping bottles. I'm in popping bottles with bitches. I'm in the club. I'm doing this. Like. Talk, I want to know who you are. I want the people to know who Stevie Dub is. I don't want you to just listen to my tracks and be like, yeah, you know, it's dope. I just want to turn it on when I want to go to the club or do whatever. Like, I want you to listen to something and be like, damn, like, this this dude really went through some shit that I can relate to. I talk about, I'll be real, I talk about all kinds of shit. Family problems, girl problems, um, just real, real life shit. Me being in groups that didn't work out, me working with certain people in the industry that, you know, we butted heads and things like that. I want people to be able to relate to that. That's what I see as substance. Not just, not just getting on a beat and just saying nothing, you know? The bar and that's for the, what right. was it? No beat, just heat? Right. Is it? Right. Let me let me ask you this. You said who is Stevie J? I'm just gonna ask you, simple as that. Who, excuse me. Who is Stevie, Stevie Dub? Right. <laughs> who is Stevie Dub? Man, Stevie Define Dub. Yourself and to, to us. Man. Stevie Dub is 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 a lyricist. Stevie Dub is somebody who is not afraid to put himself out there. I wear my heart on my sleeve. I'll go out there. I'm not afraid to. I'm not afraid to be a voice for the people. A lot of people are afraid to put themselves out there. I didn't grow up out here. I grew up in Wisconsin. I moved out here six years ago when I graduated high school, and I'm out here doing this shit for real every day in the streets grinding trying to get my trying to get my music heard trying to get wherever anywhere that i can get to where people can understand that anybody can do this shit for real so me i i, I like to call myself like the people's champion in a sense like i said especially from you know coming back home it's crazy that she was saying that she's from Mississippi where she had to deal with like racism and stuff like that because I did the, I grew up literally in Wisconsin had to deal with the same thing. I was one of the only black kids to go to my school. So for me to be out here in a huge market like LA and actually be making, you know, making a little bit of noise out here, it shows other people that they can they they can kind of vicariously live through me in a sense. That's why I said I call myself like the people's champ, where you can you know you see that I can do it. I want you to feel as if you can do it too. Absolutely, it's dope, bro. Now, Stevie, coming up in um, Wisconsin, like right. just kind of give me a perspective as to like when, how, yeah, how did you, yeah, what's the hip hop scene like? How did you get into hip hop? Like, what was your first introduction? Where man, where I grew up, there's like literally no hip hop scene. Literally, like either you play a sport and the people support you, or that's it. Like, it's all based off like sports. So there's so many people were doing football and everything back there. And like, I I played basketball and I played football, but like my music was like something that really pulled me. I came, I would visit my dad all the time. My dad lives out here in California, so I would come out here and just be able to see the culture and everything. And then. 
Uh, in my early years of high school, I ended up, it's a crazy story, but I ended up actually going to school on San Bernardino for one for a year. And I was always a hip hop head. I would always write things down and whatnot. But when I came out here and I was exposed to like, you know, just people getting in, in freestyle battles and people just rapping and shit at the school, I was like, I'm trying, I, I want to do this shit. I want to do this shit for real. So I went back home. And uh, me and my best friend, Ross Holman, we started doing uh, just shows. Like, we bought a bunch of fucking studio equipment, and we started doing shit for the community around a bunch of different, like, a bunch of different towns. I'm talking towns that literally are, like, 2,000 people. There's, like, nothing to do besides go to the football games, go to the track meets, go to the basketball games, whatever. So we were doing something different, and at first a lot of people... They didn't really accept it, because like I said, I'm the only black kid at my school. I'm rapping with a bunch of other white kids that I'm bringing on to have, you know. You're showing them the culture, right. You know what I'm saying? So like, um, now when I go back home, because like, you know, I go back home every year now and I do a show, and I, like, so many people come out to the shows, man. I'm so, you know, I'm so, you know, thankful for, for people to actually turn the shit around and be like you know what man I see him out there in LA he came from the same place I came from and, and I'm still here but he's out there doing it I respect the kid I'm gonna go like people I have messages and shit and on Facebook and Instagram and shit from like people who used to like hate on me they would rip posters off the wall and shit like wad my shit up throw it in the Damn. air and I'll do all that shit Yo, dog, I'm, I apologize for how I used to act in high school. Like, I really respect you for going out there and doing what you're doing. I see that you're actually making it work for yourself. I'm proud of you. And I apologize for what I, what I, the That's person that I used to be. So, it's inspiring, man. I'm, it, it, it keeps me going back home. It keeps me going back home and, and just, the people need that back home, especially. Now, uh, Stevie had opportunity to do some homework and uh, right. I noticed this recurring theme uh, the number 7 right. uh, with the uh, percent behind it so can you uh, kind of share a little bit of uh, that movement okay so about? basically my uh, this is my movement I call it we call it the 7 percenters there's a small percentile of people we call them the 7 percenters in the world that have a dream whether you're a hip hop artist such as myself whether you you know you do radio and you have a dream or a goal or aspiration where you go after that and you never give up that's what a seven percenter is we could also include you know somebody who has cancer or a disease i have a friend of mine his name is louis he has cystic fibrosis he is a seven percenter because he has to go he's also a hip-hop artist he's actually on my album on a track called who i am he has to go to the hospital like at least three times a month for like a two-week period where he has to he has to get basically like a recharge of his body and his vitals, and he still continues to make music. He still continues to grind. He is a seven percenter because he does not let anything hold him back from what his goal is, for what his dreams are, and what his aspirations are. That's what a seven percenter is. Every single person in this room is that. We're here on a Tuesday night. It's like fucking 1030. I'm sure some of us have to work in the morning or whatever we do. We're all seven percenters because we're in this room and we're doing this shit. We're doing this shit for real. So that's what the movement is, man. Shout out to Boss Hoss. He's my manager. Um, we just started this about like probably less than five months ago. And it's it's doing its rounds, man, out here in the industry and everything that we've been doing. We've been doing all kinds of events. We're going to be doing uh, uh, linking up with Hollywood Hoops that puts on like all these celebrity basketball games and whatnot. We're going to actually sponsor one of those games in the near future with jerseys and whatnot for you know the basketball whether it's yeah, it female around. crowd what's that I, I see i see actually the uh the seven percenter on, on a few different people actually. that's that's good yeah that's exactly what we want man and, and where, where did you actually come up with the mathematics though how, how did you get down to the seven percent honestly man my manager was kind of the one who had the initial idea of everything and he kind of you know linked up with a, guy, a lot of people and just kind of just talked about it and looked up did all the research and that so he you know he would probably be able to tell you a little bit more about that on that side than I would but the reason, reason I asked that because me right. being kind of like a student me right. kind of being exposed to like the supreme wisdom me knowing the more it should mean right. the, the, the circle of perfection is you know I see it and it makes me think of yeah, yeah. you know so I was just trying to see of course, where, where of course. the titles connections or, or whatever but I definitely respect the grind I appreciate that I you gotta that. do some research though yeah of course you gotta be able to answer that question of course you, man, if you gonna rap that I feel you I feel you I think it's, it's, and another thing with, with, the, with the brand is like it's one of those things in the in the industry now where it, it helps open up a lot of doors for us too because you know nowadays like everybody's a rapper everybody's a musician everybody's something but when we have you know let's say that we go and we're like yo you know maybe we'll we'll in exchange for you know 
let us get on a performance or let's do this and that. We can lace you with yeah, this, lace absolutely. you with that. You know what I'm saying? You have to have something because every, you know, the music always does speak for itself, but sometimes motherfuckers, they don't give a fuck about that. Like, oh, I don't give a fuck or if you're a rapper or whatever. Listen to the album long enough to hear. Right. Yeah, I got you. I feel it. We got on the lines, LP. I mean, Maestro, my bad. <laughs> you fucking that shit, my bad. Damn. It is Maestro, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. And um, let me see. I think LP does this one. Calling you on the air with the only hip hop show. Do the hip hop show with the only hip hop squad. squad. What's your name and what you're calling for? Hello? Hello? Calling you on the air with the only hip hop show. What's your name? Where you calling from? <clears throat> yeah, my name is uh, my name is Robert. They call me Rob Deuce. What up, Rob? Rob Deuce. Hey, what up, what up, what up? Yeah, I had a quick question. Uh, I just want to know the 7% of the big idea is cool and I'm always rocking with it. But I want to know who's the who's not a seven percenter because everybody in the world can't be a seven percenter, right? Right. E- only, everybody only going for it. Everybody who's at home not doing shit with their life is not a seven percenter. That's the other. That's 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 the other ninety three percent. Not doing nothing. Those aren't seven percenters. Yeah. Right. So not, not everybody could just be a seven percenter. But right. those who are out there grinding for theirs, grinding. <laughs> I'm uh, I'll, hey, hey I, I, I just now caught on who this was. What up, boy? <laughs> what up? <laughs> My nigga Bobby, man. What's up, bro? What you doing, bro? What's up, man? I'm just just coming home from work. Right. Man, this, I'm about this- to get on the studies. Yeah, shout out, what, shout out to my boy on, on here right now. He's one of the first people to actually invest in Seven Percenter. You got to say that shit live on the air so people know what's good, man. I didn't even, I didn't even realize it was him, man. Your voice sound all different and shit on here. <laughs> man, well, well, you know when you're working a, when you're always working double shifts, then your body starts to get, you know, a little, a little soggy. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga sound high. Hey, <laughs> the on a Tuesday night, Rob. Before right. you go, I gotta ask you a question, God. What's your favorite hip hop album? Who's, who's, who's he talking to? That's, or me? that's for you. That's for you. My favorite hip hop art. My favorite hip hop album. Hands down. Hands, hands down. down. Bro. Why would hands you play down. this Buster to convince this man? I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say right right now for the century right now. Uh, his album Growth and Development, top notch, man. I'm loving it. Stevie loving Dub. it. Stevie Dub. Appreciate that, bro. Stevie Dub. All the time, man. Stevie 24 Dub. Seven. I got it in my car right now. I'm ready to with it to show anybody and everybody. <laughs> Did you bring copies for the squad, man? What's good, dude? Man, I, got I, I, I literally just left from from a, a little event that I was it's at. And they're gone. We they're know gone. how that goes. I got I got this one right here. We know yeah, how that saying. goes. It is, it's digital though, right? <laughs> yeah. Give us where we can get it, man. Uh, you, you can pick it up? check out my SoundCloud. Or you can go or SoundCloud.com backslash Stevie Dub. Uh, that's the main link right there. You can go to my website StevieDub.com and check it all out right there. Absolutely, Rob. Thank you so much for calling, man. Oh, uh, most guys, I had to. I had to show some love. Appreciate get you, you a bro. blunt, man. Get you some rest, all right? <laughs> definitely, definitely. Yes, sir. Thank, thanks for answering me, man. Thanks for having me. Appreciate, Appreciate you, bro. Good luck, Peace. Rob. Family. One more time, man. Get, let me get your Instagram. Give us a website. Give us everything where we can find out the all heat, no beat. Let's, right, let's right, right. Uh, uh, basically, like I said, StevieDub.com, you can get everything. The Instagram is at StevieDub. The Twitter is at StevieDub. Stevie Facebook. Dub, yep. Facebook is backslash uh, StevieDub Music. The YouTube is, is backslash StevieDub Music as well, too. So, Do you follow back, though? Because the last person <laughs> yeah, yeah. we had didn't follow me. I was like, okay. Hit me with one right now. All right, for sure. I'm just making sure. Right, right now, right now. We'll do it live. You know what I'm saying? Follow for follow. You feel me? All right. Oh, I'm, I got you. That's easy. Oh yeah. Now, Stevie, before you go, could you um recommend no them some recommend some albums for us? Like recommend some albums? Kind of near and dear to you that are classics to you? Um, that I'm listening to. Just period. Just that kind of helped you as an artist. Or um, I'm not inspired. The Blueprint Stevie Three God. was really big for mm. me. I fucking love that album. I fucking you love that shit. You don't hear that, that often. It, that was a quality album. That's good. That might be one of my favorite, if That's not good. my favorite, Jay Z albums. But just be, just because of, album? just because of the time that I was put onto it. I'm not gonna lie, man. I wasn't, I wasn't really put onto Jay Z at like a very, very early age. I did listen to a lot of him, but then when I started to come out here, a lot more people were like, "Yo, you need to listen to a lot more hoes." So I, I, I started to do my research, man. I'm a, I'm a, Chronic 2001 is one of the like. Biggest Classic. fucking I've listened to that shit In the gym all the time I hear you baby Marshall Mathers LP Huge Damn we haven't um, had a lot either That's another classic What else are we on uh, What else am I rocking to um, I listen to a, You know Some old 
like Talib Kweli. I got the Wu Tang in my car. Mike saw that shit. Like, yo, what the fuck? Um, Where they gonna be at, Sabir Bay? Where you say they gonna be at? Wu Tang. Shout out to the gossip Bear Bay blessing us with his presence, man. Austin, we're gonna be in Austin November six. Yeah, y'all pay four hundred sixty dollars. Okay, word. Bear is gonna be in Austin through. Everything paid. Yes, sir. We we about to take it to an easy, an easy break, right, Dan? How how that feel? Uh, before we go to the break, uh, we gonna have Mr. Stevie Dub uh, bless us with some of that no beat, just heat. Ooh, okay. let's do that. No beat. So we going uh, Let me take acapella this or are we, are we going? Uh, let me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do a. Uh, uh, let me hear that real quick. Let me hear that real quick. I didn't know this. Okay. Let me see this shit. Maybe a razor like this shit. Yeah, the bars. Yeah. Can you turn it up a little bit? Listen. I feel the need to tell them about countless hours Just count the hours you work at your 9 to 5 Multiplying by hours That would calculate my workload I burrow myself inside the studio Until my shit's thorough Thoroughly listen back to the raps I can spit If I wasn't me and I heard me I would say that rap is legit You rappers should sit down You spitting like Chris Brown No disrespect to him I just want me a big crown I deserve this shit It'd be a perfect fit Used to hate on my music Now you wanna purchase it And telling us you acknowledge A kid that barely went to college That had the knowledge to get on every record And just Demolish it, I polish my delivery Gotta be kidding me, if you still compare me with others You jabbing at my dignity, this ain't a coincidence We call it dedication, detonation Blowing, I'm blowing up, you should've known hey. Yo. Jay, all right, you flipped it up quick uh. This is Stevie Dub in the building Hip Hop mm. Show, the only hip hop show Hip Hop Squad, get it, get it Hold up mm. Look Let me go without the beat real quick It's no beat Listen Check it. I be grinding harder than everybody I see up on the scene So obscene, I'm coming clean I didn't want to have to do it But I knew it really ain't nothing to it Just give me a pen and I do it Part of the movement is never letting anybody else take your shine That's why I'm here to let these niggas know it ain't your time And I be knowing when I hear that you fake your rhymes And that's what happens when you niggas don't take your time And I be doing everything I can To make sure these funny rappers know I'm the motherfucking man So if you want beef, just know I'm ready to go I got a lot pent up, my rent's up, my debt's up Won't stop until I know where I'ma end up I know they wanna try and throw shade at the movement How could you do that when I made the blueprint? I I'ma always be grinding for my shit Ain't it evident? Never hesitant, killing niggas off Call it another deficit And I ain't doing favors Unless it comes with a benefit Nah, the rest of it is up to the money Cause when I get the torch Ain't nobody getting it from me Don't wanna share I never cared about the next man Who's never there I'm everywhere You never there And you know Breathe Uh-huh, look That I'm grinding for my shit Go the extra mile Even when I'm exhausted The flow so cold Could've swore I was frostbit About to spaz out They gon' think that I lost it They fruity with the flow Boy, come out the closet My flow's got flow Flowing just like a faucet And I ain't doing shit Unless it means I'm a prophet Uh, you should've known You should've shown respect the first time Instead of sitting at home Now you gotta explain to kids of your own That you ain't make it big Cause you didn't go for your own And that ain't gonna be me ever I gotta be clever That's why we never kick back And that's why I'm always on track Perfect with timing Bitch, I'ma always be grinding Hey Appreciate hey, it Radio you the rap genius. You radio, break it radio down. Eraser. You break it down, Radio Racer. Hey man, he was the first rapper that actually came on the, the hip hop show and actually rapped in a long time. So bro, I commend you for that. Appreciate and you. I appreciate the bars, man. Oh, and acapella. Bars. Acapella over the beat. He gave us both. DJ I flipped it up on you, didn't man. throw you off. Hey, you you gotta be ready, man. That's what Thank As you a hip hop artist, you gotta be ready. That's what our fucking job is. You know, yeah, what but saying? I wouldn't like, have done it unless I knew he would kill it. Right. I normally don't do that. I only do that with good dudes. Or else they like get them all scared and hey, then they stop what? and DJ they blame I... me and shit. <laughs> Radio Racer asked a fan this week, what was their favorite episode of the only hip hop show? What did they say, Radio Racer? You remember? Oh, the one where you um did your freestyle. Not me? One. You. Yes. That was someone's favorite <laughs> hip hop show she episode. She said that bro. specifically. So I want to shout the fuck out to yeah. DJ I, nigga. I just got lucky. I don't know. Hey, that's what people want to see, though, man. That's what people want to see. Authentic hip hop, dude. See realness. We love this shit, man. How we doing now, Dave? Talk to me, baby. I mean, Mr. Maestro. Uh, Speaking of show and tell, the Pierce yeah. just stepped in. So, DJ I, 
Um, okay. Go ahead and do another mix, and I'll go get LaRon right now. All right, go get LaRon. Go the get LaRon. Why this work, boss? <laughs> Why you doing uh, this? <laughs> All right, we'll be back. I hope I did a good job, so we're going back. 